The National Wildlife Refuge System is the world's premier system of public lands and waters set aside to conserve America's fish, wildlife, and plants. Cape Romaine Refuge on the South Carolina coast is a fascinating expanse of barrier islands, salt marshes, coastal waterways, sandy beaches, water impoundments, and maritime forests. Visitors are welcome to enjoy the natural beauty of the refuge. And one of the ways they experience it is kayaking. Coastal Expeditions offers kayaking tours, rentals, and lessons at Cape Romaine. All right, there's one other thing we need to address. As long as you sit up straight in your kayak and keep your head over your bottom, you're very, very stable. The tandem boat's super stable anyway. All right. But we're a small group of naturalists dedicated to a mission statement of conservation and environmental stewardship. And the way we try to meet that goal is by getting folks just like you, active folks that like to get out and experience nature, out into places just like this. Check it out, gang. Welcome to Cape Romaine National Wildlife Refuge. This refuge is about a 68,000 acre refuge. It is the longest stretch of contiguously protected coastline on the east coast of the United States. The water that we're paddling on today is some of the most pristine water that you'll find anywhere in the world. And if everybody will take a deep breath, currently your lungs are full of some of the cleanest air available to a human being on the planet, not just a citizen of the United States. Um, this is the estuary, that's what we call this ecosystem. The textbook definition of estuary is where salt water and fresh water intermingle. It is the base food link chain of the Atlantic Ocean. Everything that lives in the ocean derives its life in one way or another from the estuary. It either gets its start here in the nursery or it feeds on something that gets its start in the nursery. And kayaking, I love it. I love kayaking. <laughs> we were lucky enough to see a pod of at least three dolphins feeding on the flats as we were out there today. You know, the wildlife is one thing and interacting with the wildlife is sort of a big hit, but just getting out there. Just being out there and applying yourself in nature, doing something physically active that causes you to reconnect with the environment. Sort of a push button plastic reality that we live in near the pavement and in our neighborhoods and our shopping centers. It doesn't have to be hard to get out there and reconnect with where everything came from.